Uh, my name is Jordan Mormon. I work at CHI St. Alexis here, and my job title is an exercise physiologist. I went to NDSU in Fargo, and I got an exercise science degree, and I also have a minor in psychology. I went to school for four and a half years. Uh, it took me four years to get the, the bachelor's degree in exercise science, and then I took another uh, sem half semester, or another semester to get my minor in psychology. A typical day would be come to work in the morning, and I spend the earlier part of my morning either working in cardiac rehab or in our occupational medicine uh, clinic. And then in the afternoons and evenings, I work in the acceleration sports training um, facility up here, training the athletes. As far as the training goes, um, it's, a, it's a program that's going to improve speed, power, strength, agility in athletes. So they're doing treadmill workouts to improve speed. Uh, they're doing plyometric work for the agility, lower body explosiveness part of it. Um, we, uh, we have a weight program that we, we set up with them to strengthen the core and the different running muscles, type, that, those types of things. Um, we have sports specific programming, so somebody that wants to just focus more on you know, one aspect of they're a baseball player and they're a pitcher. You know, we really focus on that, or they're a volleyball player and they want to work on their hitting. We, um, we have programming to just focus on specific things that they like to improve on. Uh, cardiac rehab, um, working with patients that have either had a, uh, undergone a cardiac procedure, something like uh, open heart surgery, or uh, having a stent placed or something like that, or they've had a cardiac event such as a heart attack or um, been diagnosed with congestive heart failure. And what we do with them then is uh, we come in and we do their, their rehab, do different exercise with them, uh, monitoring their vitals, their blood pressures, heart rates, um, oxygen saturation and with the goal in mind of just trying to get the heart strengthened and get the get that person back to where they they were before everything happened uh, so they can live their normal daily routine and activities it's, it's you know a full-time 40 hour a week job with sometimes some extra hours having to go into it so anywhere from probably 40 to 45 hours it's a it's a, it's a very fast-paced job um, whether it's uh, sports training in the acceleration program or cardiac rehab, you, it's, it's, it's uh, very fast paced. You always gotta be ready for change, things to change. Um, you might be you know, working with an athlete and all of a sudden they roll their ankle, something like that. So you always gotta kind of be ready to, you know, there's, there's more to it than just training. You know, we're training the athlete to not only, you know, you know, improve in, in their sport, but we're doing things to prevent injuries from happening. So things are always changing. Um, on the cardiac rehab side of things, you might be working with a patient and everything's fine. And then all of a sudden things can go south and they're, you know, they could, you know, go into cardiac arrest, you know, worst case scenario. So you got to be ready at all times for, for the worst case scenario to happen. So it's, you come to work in the morning and you probably don't sit down except for a lunch break, so you're kind of always going all day. Um, not usually. Um, probably the most traveling that we do uh, from the just getting to know the athletes in the acceleration program. A lot of times we try to get to their, their games after they've trained with us. Uh, we get to know them, we establish relationships with them, and we, uh, we like to go out and you know try to catch a few of their games. So, you know, light traveling, but for the most part, don't really have to go across the country for for much so um, the uh, as far as from the acceleration standpoint taking classes like anatomy and kinesiology and biomechanics was very important because those taught me how the body works how the body responds to things like training and exercise um, and just being able to not just train somebody to make them tired but train them the, the right way to where they're doing things when they're in their sports that they're they're not getting into bad habits to where they're putting themselves at risk for injury. So having a good knowledge base about how the body works and, and doing it the correct way. Um, from cardiac rehab standpoint, the anatomy was very important, obviously, just to understand the whole, how the heart works, how when something goes wrong with the heart, how that affects the rest of the body. And after something like a heart attack happens, you know, what that does to the heart and kind of how that'll affect somebody for the rest of their life. So it's very important with the, from the anatomy standpoint. I chose this career because I, I really enjoyed my anatomy class that I took in high school, got me interested in something in the medical field. Um, I really enjoy working with people. I, it's, this is a job where you're working with people all day, every day, shaking a lot of hands 
and it's just it's something it's a very rewarding field when if it's an um, athlete that you train in the that we train in the acceleration program if we can help them meet their goals you know to make them a better athlete or it's a uh, in the cardiac rehab side of things, taking somebody who is very sick and being able to help them throughout their rehab process and get them, you know, get them back to where they they want to be. It's it's just very rewarding. You can you can go home at night knowing that you knowing that you help somebody. That's a pretty good feeling. It makes it easy to get up and come to work in the morning. I decided this probably very early, probably my freshman year of college. You know, I had a pretty good pretty good idea that I wanted to do something in the medical field even when I left high school but once I started getting into some of the more of the core classes in college I, I really decided that this is this is for me so this is what I'm passionate about in uh, in this position you got to be a people person there's no doubt about that you uh, you're, you're like I said you're always working with people different people uh, you have some that can be more difficult to work with some that are great to work with so you, you just you got to be able to relate to people on, on different levels um, and just be passionate about health and fitness. If I'm training an athlete to be a better be a better basketball player, you know, or I'm working with somebody in cardiac rehab, I want to be confident that, you know, I'm telling them something that I believe in. So be very passionate about health and fitness. Some of the most difficult parts throughout my day would be you know, you're always going to work with somebody that if I'm working with an athlete, if they just, they're here, but they don't really want to work too hard or they're having a hard time, it's hard to motivate them. Just finding new and innovative ways to make things fun for the athletes so they, they want to come here and they want to work hard. So thinking outside the box a little bit, um, on the cardiac rehab side, you're working with people that are, say, coming out of an open heart surgery. They're they're very sick. It, getting out of bed is very hard for them. So to convince this person that, well, I'm going to get you out of bed and we're going to take a walk down the hallway now, it can be, you, you got to be convincing, but you got to be able to relate to that person too, to make them trust you that you're there to help them. And even though you might be telling them something that they don't want to hear or wanting to do something that they don't necessarily want to do, being able to get them to believe that you're there to help them. So that, that can be difficult at times, but that'll be with any job. I work from the for the most part it's more on an individual standpoint when I'm working in acceleration I'm training my group of athletes but we intermix with the other trainers we might I might be doing one thing with with my kids I might team up with one of the other trainer with his kids and do a group activity um, cardiac rehab wise it's it's more of a team aspect we we have um, a few different workers and we're working with a group of people for the most part so it's it's a little bit of both. You're you're on your own a lot, but you're also working in a team setting too. So it's important to be able to be able to work with other people, but you got to be able to handle things on your own as well.